Welcome to Fantastic Fractals, the 2019 Global Maths Lesson on Fractals. A fractal is a shape or curve that is made up of lots of copies of itself. The copies have to get smaller and smaller or else the shape would grow to be unmanageably large. Fractals occur in nature and computers can simulate them by repeating the same command code over and over again. If the code includes small, random variations, the image will look more realistic. Fractals include rivers, lightning, coastlines, trees, root systems, ferns, broccoli, lungs. What other fractals can you think of? We have coastline and mountains. Zooming in, you see more and more detail and smaller copies of the same patterns within the bigger picture. Nature does not make identical copies, but mathematics does. Symmetry in nature. People breathe in, trees breathe out, and vice versa. These three fractal systems, the veins, arteries and lungs, demonstrate structures with limited volumes and very large surface areas. They provide the surfaces for the exchange of oxygen from the lungs to the bloodstream and carbon dioxide back into the lungs. These are examples of three-dimensional fractals. We constructed a huge 3D fractal in 2014 to raise money for AIMSEC teacher bursaries. Observe the black triangle. What happens to the black triangle as you progress from stage 0 to stage 1 to stage 2 to stage 3 and so on? They can grow outwards, forever getting bigger, as in the Global Maths Lesson poster, or inwards at smaller and smaller scales. Take a moment to imagine the process going forever outwards and forever inwards. For those of you interested in investigating fractals further, there are many rich resources for ages 5 to adult on the website, including cross-curricular activities and the history of fractals. You will find the link on bubblymaths.co.uk forward slash gml. Building your poster. Use a ruler to draw a very light pencil line three centimeters above and parallel to the base of a large sheet of paper. Flip chart paper works well. You will need a large backing sheet and glue. Flip chart paper is ideal. Make copies of the stage three triangle for learners to color in, one for each child, who should color the triangle using just one color. Make a poster of a stage six triangle with 27 of the children's stage three triangles. See the next slide. Each child can stick their own triangle in place guided by the teacher. Once you've coloured in your stage three triangles, stick three of them on the bottom left hand corner of your pencil line to make a stage four triangle. Use the ruler to ensure the triangles are level with each other. Stick six more stage three triangles on the sheet so that the nine stage three triangles together make a stage five triangle. Stick another nine stage three triangles at the same level and another nine above so that the 27 stage threes together make a stage six triangle. If several classes can work together, and you have enough space, then three stage six triangles, that's 81 of the children's triangles, can be combined to make a stage seven triangle. 
and so on and on forever. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to hearing from schools all over the world. Please tell other people about it for next year so we can have even more people on Earth unified by the Global Maths Lesson. Bye! Thank you.